Hi and welcome to Architeasy. In this video I am going to show you how to model stairs like this one is, how to adjust their heights and the depths of the trees, how you can assign material to them and all those things I am going to do in the next couple of minutes. Literally if you follow this tutorial from beginning to the end you will be able to do those stairs in a 2 minutes. I'm not gonna waste your time anymore. Let's just move to Revit and I hope you're going to enjoy with this one. I am in Revit 2024, we'll just take the new metric template and then here we'll go to the stairs, we'll take let's say this assembled one and we'll create stairs from the first to the second floor. And let me just turn off all the annotation categories so we have the better overview of the stairs itself. So now I'm going to duplicate the stairs. And it's quite important in this case, because if you take a look at stairs, we have just one support by side. To get rid of the left or the right support, in this case I'm going to get rid of the left support. While for the right support, instead of having closed, I'm going to put the open carriage, we'll click apply, and then I'm going to the run type, where I'm going to turn off the risers, we'll keep everything how it, how it is. And we'll just confirm this. Sorry, look like that I didn't. Yes, I put, <laughs> I forget to put this one to none. And we'll just delete our railings. So we have the better overview. And you see that they look correctly. What I'm going to do with these stairs as well, because if we go to this one, we will see that we have the high risers while the threads are having the a smaller depth. I'm going to adjust the stairs calculation, so we'll go to the edit type, we'll increase this to let's say 280, while we'll decrease this to 220. And then we'll decrease this number to 16, you can skip those warnings, and I can make this to be 200. So you see that our stairs look pretty similar to the example. And the next thing will be to add materials, so you can simply select the stairs, go to edit type and then under the run type, you need to go for the thread material and I will add, let's say this wood stain here. And let's just go to the textures. But if you would like to add material to the support, you need to hover the mouse over it, click tab and select it and then go to edit type for it and then I'm just going to add the same material. So you see it's done and it's been <laughs> literally two minutes. I really hope that you're going to find this one useful. Feel free to share our videos with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to like this video. Thank you very much for watching.